In this video, I will show you how to create student interest in learning about types of galaxies. You might be wondering, what is a galaxy? Well, a galaxy is a group of stars, moons, planets, gases, and space dust that's moving together with the help of gravity. However, astrophysicists are still undetermined about some of the aspects, like how are galaxies formed? But they've created theories. This is why it's really important that students have an intrinsic thirst for knowledge and high interest in the material. By linking creative thought to their thinking patterns, it will give rise to a more expansive cognition. Basically, it'll help them to think more creatively without limits. We have two different downloads available for you in our Pro Pack. One is about what is a galaxy, and the other is about the four different types of common galaxies, including the spiral, bar spiral, elliptical, and irregular galaxies with information on each of those. Next, I'm gonna show you about how to make a cool project with the barred spiral galaxy. So what you're seeing here is the start of this project. At the end, it's going to look something like this. I'm gonna show you how to get to that level. First, I used black paper and I sketched out whatever design I wanted for my galaxy. Then I added glue in that shape on top of the lines. I also used a paintbrush to add thickness and thinness wherever I wanted the line to graduate. Then I cut tiny chips of paper and I separated them into piles of warm colors and cool colors. And I added the cool colors onto the paper first because the warm colors need to be on top of the cool colors in order for you to use this in combination with the 3D glasses that make it pop out. If you have 3D glasses like this, you will be able to see this pop out as well. Now I'm gonna show you how to add the paper to your background. For the warm colors, you're going to cut paper strips into tiny squares or any shapes that you want. If you look closely on mine, I also used hole puncher confetti. Um, some of my students used different shapes that they wanted. They cut it into curved shapes. I put it in this envelope because it's easier to organize and you might need to do this lesson in more than one day. And you can easily write the student's name on the front of the envelope or if you're working with a group, if they're working in a group, then you can write every member's name on that. It's important for your students to know the difference between warm and cool colors because they need to know that the warm colors will need to go on top of the cool colors. And an easy way that I teach my students is that the cool colors are things that are cool, like cool grass and the cool water in the ocean. Warm colors are like the sun, yellow, anything you can color the sun with, sunset, pink, red, orange, those, that would need to layer on top of the coal. Okay. 
after all that's cut out, you sketch your lines and put your warm colors, not at the same time. Only after this dries will you add your warm colors. During this process, I usually have my students wear a pair of 3D glasses at some point in their creation, just to make sure that all of their colors are popping out correctly, because sometimes, depending on what shade of purple you have, it may not pop out the way you want it to in certain places. This is a finished product and if you have 3D glasses at home you should be able to see this pop out on your screen. In our next video we will learn how black light paint can enhance galaxy paintings.